Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So I'm an absolute wally. I've been through this coin hunt and forgot to press forgot to press start on uh, on record. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags left. And so but you haven't missed much. So I got the, the, the hat trick of Shakespeare's loads of skulls but nothing. Uh, no edge inscription error. A uh, Brunel Arches, uh, a What the Dickens, a uh, Saint Paul's, one hundred fifty years of nursing, Sir, Flor uh, Sir Florence Nightingale, Florence Nightingale, the act of the abolition of the slave trade, and a DNA double helix, which is probably about the the best find I would think so far. I uh, I was hoping to make a short video because I spoke far too much on the there's another one on my last video. Ooh. Britannia. Ooh, 2015 as well. Getting in, you tuned in right at the right time there. 650,000 minted. That's all. So that is definitely a keeper, 2015 Britannia. That's the plum. I'm going to stick that, stick that down there. So yeah, I, uh, I, was, I was talking about how long my last video was, my last 50p video, but it was worth it because it was a great 50p hunt. And I'd shown the book and everything and said that I just needed two Olympics. This is in the two pounds, two Olympics. Uh, the four Commonwealths. And I think that was it. I've got everything other than that. And I was talking about the badges. So the Sir Poochington badge is going down a storm. So if you'd like to buy the second season, second series of badges, it's six pound. And that includes the four badges, postage and packaging. And then we're having a little bit of fun with our Benjamin Bunnies. So we, we, this is an uncirculated Benjamin Bunny, as in the coin is circulated, but because Lady M and I have signed it on the same coin, we are not putting that signature into circulation. So if you want, if you want it, you can have it with your purchase of four badges and it'll cost you six quid. It's just a bit for the badges and the posted and, and the thing you wanna said. So yeah, so just having a little bit, little bit of fun with our signature and big thanks to Keith Elric who suggested that we sign them both. He's got one, Ian Ritchie's got one, and then the others will be part, there'll be another 20 that go in with the, the badges. There's the active union. Got 20 badges for sale, 20 sets. Once they're gone, they're gone. So do, you know, if you wanna treat a loved one for Christmas, what better way than to treat them with a set, set of badges, one of them with my my gorgeous face on. There's another St. Paul's. And there's, I suppose, the one with Lady M as well. And the plum for the plum finds. This is definitely not a plum find. So Poochington is the, is the plum, the pick of the plums. It's a nice condition, that one. Another hollow crown. Let's have a quick look at Sir Poochington. There he is, look. It's our channel mascot. Walter's giving him a, a run for his money, like. Well, this is the channel mascot, Sir Poochington, with his Christmas scarf on. There he is. Right, I'm not gonna talk very much. Come on, Walter. Can you do any better than a Britannia? 2015. Another act of the abolition of the slave trade. Another act of union. Another Act of Union. Three now. Nice and common then, mind. About eight million, I think, off the top of my head from what I can remember. Is that a Kitchener? No, it's another Charles Dickens. What the Dickens? I got that off 10 Bob. 10 Bob says that. Hey, well. I can't believe I forgot the press record. What a tatey. Oh, there's another Shakespeare's uh, tragedies. And I was just saying, although no one else heard it, there was somebody messaged me a week or so ago and said that they had had one with a little bit of a little bit of cud on the top. So you're gonna see that little bit of this has only got a tiny little bit of it. Or is it is there a little bit there? Let's have a look. Tiny, tiny bit, I think. 
Yeah, there's a very, very, very tiny bit. Let me just get the cocktail stick. See, I'm sat on my broken chair, so I'm sat in a hole. I can't zoom in. So can you see this little, this little bump? Hang on, hang on. There, there, look. Just, ah, oh, hang on. Brunel arches, let's just stick that down with them. Let's have another go at this. I can't zoom in, you see, because I can't reach. Try it on the 50B, I'll turn the camera off. Right, there's a tiny little bit of a bump there, look, on his head. Can you see that little, that little bump? There. So some of them, they, it looks, it looks, it looks bigger. It looks like he's got a, like a, a, a bump on his head. And that's where the, the die that stamps the coin, the, the, the die itself is, is broke off a little bit, chipped off. And then when it's a little bit of metal, when it's been stamped in print somewhere else. So it's not valuable, but somebody messaged me and I'm sorry, I forgot who it was. There's another Brunel Arches. Um, to say that, that, that he had one and was it worth anything because it was one on eBay for £40,000 and there was another one on for £20,000. So no, I don't think it's worth anything other than a bit of novelty value. I hadn't seen it before. Uh, asked a few coin tuber pals and laughter said that he'd he'd seen it and he'd mentioned it on his channel. And uh, no, other than novelty value, there's another Saint Paul's. It's not worth. It's not worth out. I suppose maybe someone might say, I oh, know, a little bit more than two pound for it to see if I'm looking through the through a load if they want it as an oddity. So I would keep one if it was a bit odd. Right, here is the, here is the plum. 2015 Britannia. So, Walter, you've done all right for me, Walter. You've done, you've done all right. Okay, thumbnail time. What am I going to, which one should I use? I'll use, I'm going to use, oh, did I zoom in? I did, didn't I? Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go, I zoom back out. I did, I did it without thinking there. Oops. Right, so I need to do the thumbnail. So I'll use that one with a little bit, that skulls with a tiny little bump on his head. And uh, Monty suggested that I do a thumbs up for this thumbnail. So let's stick it there and can I do two thumbs? Don't suppose I can, can I? Anyway, so that was the thumbnail. That was the plum find. If you want some badges, email me, message me, six quid, post in your packaging, and that includes your, your Benjamin Bunny. Just a bit of fun, just a bit of fun, uncircular Benjamin Bunny. Thanks very much, Walter. Thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I haven't pressed stop now. <laughs>